Hey guys, what is up? And today we are going to be learning how to make a Super Smash Bros. sort of game on Scratch. And this is the first part. I know I've already made like the first part already. Um, I think the second part too. But I'm actually going to restart the series because um, I've like kind of run into some issues with the old code. And apparently it doesn't work anymore. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to restart this entire series. Uh, but anyways, let's just jump right into it. <laughs> Alright guys, so I have two sprites here. One called Player 1 Hitbox, or just P1 Hitbox. And then one just called Level. Alright, and before we can start coding, we have to make a variable. And the variable, we'll have to make two variables. So one is going to be called XVEL, stands for X velocity. One is going to be called YVEL, stands for Y velocity. And I also do have this like, you know, just nice little background. Um, so it's not just pure white in the back. And, um, yeah. So in the player one hitbox, we're going to have to make an insanely big line of code just for movement. But then we can also reuse that for player two. Um, so yeah, but uh, we have to do a when green flag clicked, uh, set size to 75. This can be adjusted to your liking. And I'm also gonna make him go somewhere around there, right? And then I'm gonna have to drag in a forever, and then an if, key left arrow pressed, and then do a uh, change x val by negative one, then duplicate that, but change this to right arrow, and then do one. All right. Um. So if we click the green flag right now, and then we use the arrow keys, the X val variable is literally gonna go crazy. Um. So that's not what we want. So let's do a set X val to X val times X val times zero point nine. 2x times 0 0.9 and then we're gonna change x by x val so change x by x val and it, it's going crazy right but if we do click it a couple of times and make it reset to zero you can see that we move left and right very very smoothly right um i will set x val to zero at the very beginning so you know the movements reset and now oh uh, we're gonna have to add an if uh touching level right then we change y by one change y by one now we duplicate this five times so one two three four and then five ba oh bam and in the fifth one we're actually gonna have to change this by negative four right and then we're gonna have to change x change it no not y change x by x val times negative one so times and then an x val and then a negative one bam okay now um what we're gonna have to do is drag in two if else's so if else and then if else and make sure they're inside of this if touching level because if they're not it's not gonna work and that's the that's the only reason I have to re-record this video so make sure you do that and um we're gonna have to add an if up arrow key pressed and then and a greater than right and then change this to zero and then change this to x val right then we're gonna have to set x val to 10, to 10, and then negative 10 in the else, or else um, we're just gonna, well, we're actually just gonna set y val to 15 here, and then set x val to zero at the very bottom. All right, and that still does nothing for us uh, yet. But then what we're gonna do is change y, change y val right by negative one 
and then change Y by Y though. So boom, and then boom. Okay. So now uh, our player is gonna fall, but then like yeah. See the variable gets faster and faster, and then he falls that fast. So, like, if I put him up here, uh, y Val is so high, he just teleports to the bottom, right? He's f just falling that fast. You literally just can't see it. Um, so we have to make it so that he will actually stay on the level. So, to do that, what we're gonna do is add in an if, right? Touching level. If touching level. Then we're gonna change y change y by and then a minus and then a times by y val time minus y val times two All right so that means he's gonna stay still basically and then we're gonna set y val to zero all right now we're gonna also change y by negative one change y by negative one and then do an if, uh, if, right, and then touching, if touching level, but then we have to have an and, and then do if, up arrow key pressed, all right. Then we're going to set y, what, set y val to 15. Set y val to 15. So this is how I, our player's going to jump. And I think I might change that to 10 instead of 15. Then we're going to change by, by 1. Alright, and boom. And that is the entire script completed. It's, an, it's a very big script. But, if we actually reset YVEL, and we set YVEL to 0 at the beginning as well, we will have our platforming script. Oh, that was that was really weird. Um what what is happening? Like that's just like an accelerator? What? Um hello? Can somebody explain what's going on? Like what if I what if I just try refreshing the page? Cuz that that's worked many times in the past. If I just like refresh the page, does that does that fix it? Nope, it's still an accelerator. Um not sure what's going on there. Also, I will set this to 15. Uh again. Right, so then Okay, so it's just an accelerator. So the collision with the right and left isn't working. I will fix it and I will be right back, guys. All right, guys. Um literally less than like Five seconds later, I found this block of code uh, right in, like, this if-touching level. And this is supposed to be a times, not, um, yeah, not a plus. So now, uh, if I full-screen this, there is no more weird accelerator thingy going on. So, that is pretty good. And... Now let's actually, instead of a black square, let's make a player one here, right? And uh, it's gonna be red. So there's gonna be tw uh, three, let's say three costumes, right? Three things to choose from. Also, I'm just gonna copy this and paste it here so that they're the same size. And then just paste it right there. Change this to 12 get a nice red color right i'm also going to make this outline 12 well actually no let's make it like seven okay um he's a little bigger but but it's fine then we do oh no not export oh uh, we'll call this red i don't care okay uh red then we'll duplicate this call this green green duplicate this call this blue and then duplicate it oh duplicate it and call it yellow bam 
and this is actually like they're gonna match their corresponding colors so green okay and then blue and then yellow which is more like gold but like same thing okay and we're gonna do one green flag clicked forever go to mm, p1 hitbox set size to 75 and boom oh wait that's kind of uh so that is not what we want because like it follows it but like you can still see the hitbox in the background so in the p1 hitbox what we're just going to do is we're going to set ghost effect all the way up here say so ghost effect to 99.99 now we don't see it anymore but we can still move around as our player one and then we duplicate this and just literally p2 and then call this p2 hitbox hitbox right and this is gonna follow follow player two and now all right we have to change the player two hitbox to move with um wsd so this is gonna be a this is gonna be d and then all the way down here is going to be w so all the way down here w so now uh player two moves with wasd also uh they both here wait player two hitbox um where the heck is it back here somewhere okay so this one is player two hitbox so player two is gonna start here right so we're gonna make it go to there but now um we're gonna actually have to change this x vel and y vel stuff right to we're gonna have to make new variables called like x vel p2 and then y vel p2 right and then we're gonna have to replace all of these with the p2 version so x vel p2 y vel p2 and um yeah so this is gonna take a while so i will be right back all right i have finished doing uh, replacing all the XVL and YVLs with XVL P2 and YVL P2s. So now, um, uh, player 2 moves with WASD and player 1 can move freely as well. Right? So that is pretty good. Wait, but can they walk through each other though? They should be able to walk through each other. Oh my god, this is so disorienting. Like, okay, okay, okay. I got it. Okay, yeah, so they can walk through each other, um, which you can actually change that by, uh, the if touching levels things. You can also put an and and then P2 there. But anyway, guys, that is it for this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to like, smash that subscribe button and the like button and the notification bell. Leave a comment down below as well, and I will see you guys in the next one. So peace out.